All right, what's up, everybody? You were tuned into, damn, guys, episode 28 of the Jada Cast podcast. How's everyone doing? Very good. How you doing? Awesome. Cool. I'm Jordan. I'm Daryl. I'm Mike. And, uh, you know, today we thought that it would be kind of fun to have a sort of a, how can I say, we're going to watch the first hour of the Fast and Furious, <laughs> of the very first Fast and Furious movie. And we just thought that, you know, it would be fun to unwind at the end of the day and maybe throw in some of our well, commentary. And so, uh, and so if you guys would like to join us, we are going to start the movie. We are watching Fast and Furious 1. And um, we are 30 seconds into the movie where the credits are rolling. And let's start. We're actually 24 seconds in. So we're going to start right now. And uh, yeah, enjoy our commentary. Oh, starting now. There we go. Yeah, this episode, this one oh, wait, has the longest title of all of them, right? Yeah. The Fast and the Furious. Yeah. Was it that? Yeah, that's yeah. the official title is The I Fast get this and one the... Con- yeah. <laughs> I get this one confused and like the one after Tokyo Drift because it's Fast and Furious. Yeah. Yeah. And ooh. The, the laziest one was just Fast Five. <laughs> I, so, so what are they stealing here? What are they stealing? DVD, DVD players, players or VHS? Dang. <laughs> They're stealing DVD players. Is it VHS players or DVD players? I think those are combination TV and VHS players. <laughs> <laughs> that's, oh. that's how long ago this darn movie was, man. man. This is crazy. This is where everything started. <laughs> so crazy. Now now that now that stuff isn't even worth a penny. Yeah. Yeah. You find them in nostalgia, bro. Can't put a price yeah. on it. Dude, it's so weird. Who is it? Who's the Who's the guy that that drove the black uh, uh, S two thousand? Johnny Tran. Johnny, Johnny Tran. Yeah, he's got to make that money to fix that car up. Yeah, yeah dude. <laughs> so we're at the scene where they got the uh, three Honda Civics, green neon lights underneath. This is such an influential scene, though. Was well, such an iconic scene, I think. Yeah. I wanted to do this after. The movie. <laughs> oh, so you were one of them. <laughs> I wasn't old enough to drive, though. Yeah. <laughs> See, this is not far from what they're doing now. Yeah. In the movies, you know, it's just they were just using higher more, production grade. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> of course. Yeah, that definitely. But and the cars are a little more higher end. This yeah. is reminiscent of like the Furious 7 scene. Yeah. When oh, for sure. They have the off-road cars on the mountain. It also kind of reminds me of uh, eight where they were uh, playing tug of war. Yeah, and uh, the Brazil scene when they were pulling the I mean, the, the the safe. safe. Yeah, and something I'm um, to appreciate too. Of I mean, okay, this is like early 2001, I think. You know, back when CGI still wasn't at its peak, and so you really had to rely on like actually doing these things. Yeah, you know? so I can really appreciate that. Yeah, and the Civic just going underneath that's that. Lifted. That's got to be a jacked up, tall, big rig, yo. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah. I don't care how low you put your Civic, it ain't gonna go underneath no no big rig. No, that thing is really <laughs> only one way to find out. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people gonna t- um to make those those Civics too online. Yeah, on social media. Yeah, with the street glow. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder crazy? if we. I wonder if we possess that type of technology. <laughs> huh. Four pack, dude. Ooh, oh, yeah. It's Brian's it Eclipse. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know he also drove uh, um, in the series? There's there's in canon. Uh, he drove uh, uh, Dodge Stealth. Or is it Dodge Stealth or is, or is it the GT 3000, 3000 GT or whatever? 3000 GT? 3000. Yeah. Huh? I think it's the same car. No, there's basically the same car, but yeah. I think but it's it the was, 3000. Yeah, it was like some some web-only video movie where he was yeah. like traveling cross-country. Hmm. In which movie? It wasn't in any of the movies. Yeah, it it's like, like how like, he got to Miami or something, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, before Too Fast, Too Furious. It was a DVD for this. Yeah. It was a oh. Too Fast. Okay. I thought he... Hmm. So it was a prequel to Too Fast. Yeah. So it was a, was it a Dodge Stealth or was it a Mitsubishi 3000? I, I thought it was a, th- I thought it was a, was a, could be wrong. I don't know. A Skyline. No, no that, that's how, before he gets it. how he got it. That, yeah. That's oh. where he, he, he trades that in to get the Skyline or something. I know what like you're talking about. Whatever. Now, yeah. Cause the cops were after him. Yeah. 
Oh, there it is. Wow. Toretto's. So tuna, no crust. So, so the Toretto's went from owning a tuna sandwich shop to doing global heists. Talk about goals. <laughs> <laughs> it's a stealth. It is a stealth. Ah, wow. okay. Crazy. Let me turn this up a little bit. Ordering the same sandwich every week. Do people really pretend to enjoy, well, tuna sandwiches that much? Dude, I've had some good tuna sandwiches. Hmm? Is she there? Well, okay. Okay, Okay, you're right. But I mean, even if I'm there, I'm going to order something else. (laughs) You know what? The the best tuna sandwiches I've ever had were in Japan. Yeah? Yeah. Well, y'all got that real tuna. Well, yeah, probably, but it's like the and, Fukushima and, tuna. And whenever you get it, it's always no crust. Yeah. They they cut the crust off all of all the sandwiches. Mm. Oh. I hear that Dude. crust is where all the fiber is. The crust? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, so, oh that skyline, is. dude. Hey. Oh, the Jetta. The Jetta. All right, so what do you guys really think about their graphics? Are you at the time? At the time. It was very on it's, trend. Right, it, well, then again, at that time, see, we were like, see, like, when you think of our shoes, like, <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, yeah, those shoes are just cringe worthy. <laughs> you know, it, dude, she got so much hotter, yeah, now, you mean, y- yeah, yeah, Gl- we'll talk about glow up, refined, dude. You hear it. it's like, it's like wine, yeah. No, but, see, in, in, in the in the southern California scene, those graphics weren't really that big. It was, uh, I, th- I think we touched on it when we were talking with uh, Big Mike. Mm-hmm. It was, we were, LA was more clean, just kind of, you know, what, single color, maybe a loud color, but it wasn't graphics like that. So what parts of the country put an emphasis on those types of graphics? I think it was, uh, Atlanta. well, there's this company that, I, I don't know. I think it was like more of the Midwest areas. Yeah? Yeah. Hmm. If you're following along, we're at the part where... Uh part where Brian is about to get into a fight with Vince. Vince. There he is. Like, who does that? <laughs> those aren't the guys that are driving those kind of cars. <laughs> <laughs> man, fighting is just so risky because you do not know who you're up against, man. Yeah. But you don't know if this guy is one fight away from from being in the UFC, and you just just haven't heard his name yet, and he is just an assassin. You don't know know who you're gonna pick a fight with, man. It's crazy. Or you can get a guy who's like has a glass jaw. And- yeah, yeah, true. Oh, he oh. said the F A and with yeah. a certain. <laughs> oh, he said the F word, but you can't say that nowadays. Oh, Ooh, that was a left hook. Yeah. All right. He shot a <laughs> double leg attempt. Is this this uh, sandwich shop in near Dom's house? I actually haven't been. Is that, I don't, wait, is that is this a real sandwich shop? No. Well, I mean, is it set near his house? Because his house, what is? I'd have to assume. in Echo Park, and that was the hood. Yeah, I mean, this yeah. looks looks pretty hood. <laughs> A lot of people don't know, but Paul Walker was actually a pretty high ranking in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that either. Yeah. Um, he did it in in Too Fast, Too Furious, actually, b- b- like like before people even knew about that style. He got well, Tyrese in a guillotine choke. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> you embarrass me in front of my people. Take off those stupid bracelets. Yeah. <laughs> it's embarrassing, man. <laughs> what's it what's his little middle name brian like, earl, earl spilner man. sounds like a, yeah, that man. was one of our questions a few years ago at sema oh yeah we we're doing giveaways so at sema what, what a couple a few years ago we did a giveaway and you had, had to answer a, a some a trivia, trivia questions. questions yeah yep and, uh, and one of them was uh what was brian o'connor's like undercover name or something in the first movie yep and we gave away uh 164 or 155 scale. Hmm, That's a furious diecast, yeah. Interesting. All right, so what's the name of this, this shop? Um, so in this shot, Brian is uh <laughs> he's back at the shop. Do you remember the name of it? I 
actually don't. Don't. We just <laughs> saw it too. It was yeah. just on there. What yeah. is it? I wasn't paying attention. Racers. Wasn't it Racers Edge? I think it was Racers yeah. Edge. Yeah. Sounds familiar. So, now, now there's a uh, a shop that, and it's on all the cars. Um, I think it's DT. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is that does that shop actually show up in the movies? I I have no idea. I don't know. I actually saw it on one of the cars that was that roll up scene. Yeah, yeah. The roll up scene. The the Jetta has it. Yeah. The 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 RX seven will have it. When yeah. We see that later on. Mm. Um. Yeah. It's uh. I think it was what. Dom Toretto Motor Works or something like that or yeah some something like that but I don't know if we ever see that garage or if that's actually a something that they uh, have in the movie. Hmm. All right, so that's the joint right there. Sorry, that was a little inside <laughs> conversation. I knew where you, I knew what I knew what you were saying. <laughs> we're at the warehouse scene, right? The warehouse scene. Is this a warehouse? Well, I don't know if it's that's not really. Well, a, it's some type of industrial area. Yeah, we're all they're all parking on the on the outside of these buildings. Yeah, opening up hoods, seeing what each setup is. Dude, this is not very off, far off from what the new ones were. All the new movies. Mm-hmm. It's just different kinds of cars. It's just now it's, instead of Hondas and Toyotas and Mitsubishis, it's you know higher end cars and. I mean, wilder cars. Well, yeah, they've been pulling off all these international heists, but they better be driving something other than well, like <laughs> other than Honda Civics. Yep. <laughs> I would be so nervous in a situation like this if I just pulled up and there's all of these people around. They all, probably, <laughs> they all probably have guns and do coke, <laughs> and I'm just some random guy with no friends just standing around like, uh, uh, hi. Oh, uh, so... <laughs> They just showed a, a an MR2, one of the MR2s that I was totally, I was, I wanted. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's a, it's a, it was an orange MR2 with the 2000 GT body kit. It's a wide body kit by TRD. Mm-hmm. And it's, yeah, man, I think it was awesome. I wish uh, there was a, this place um, that had, this girl had one. I forgot what the shop was called. Oh, it's car, called Charisma. Charisma. Yeah. And, the, and this uh, this girl owned one. It was, it was nice. Sounds like you want to get back into one. I kind of do, man. <laughs> if I had the room. I don't I'm have sure a garage space figure, to do I'm it. I'm sure we can figure that out. <laughs> <laughs> Would you say that the MR2 is a, like, you know, a collector's car now? Kind of? Uh, I wouldn't say it's not to the extent, not, not to the, the level of what the Supra is right now. Yeah. Uh, but it's, it's, there's a following for it, but it's not definitely not. I don't, I don't consider it a, a true collector car. No. Yeah. Nice, sir. There I it think is. I that this is the only movie where Dom goes in a JDM car. I think so. I, I There was, uh, there was something else. I think we were doing some research and we saw there was one more hmm. car. I remember this was like a trivia question also. Yeah. What other cars was Dom in? Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> was it a Civic? No, I mean the Civic at the end. Oh. Oh, yeah. yeah. Might have been. Did he ever? He, and he drove the Supra. Yeah, he took it. Yeah. Okay. I'm off. Hey, but it was it. this movie. Hey, look, it's that cross. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys well and so that is kind of an inside joke for us about you know some business <laughs> you guys would be very surprised there's the guy that that, that never ages rg devera that guy he's like he looks exactly the same today as he did in this movie who is rg devera he's at mcguire's yeah he's at mcguire's he's uh he's the that dude right there the asian guy Oh really? Uh, the drives a Civic that says those guys are fast. Oh, he's playing. so he looks the exact same. Dude, he looks exactly the same. No, well, Asians age age pretty well, dude. Especially this dude. Yeah, <laughs> you know, he probably eats a lot of vegetables. Could maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I just love how how Hector is Hector in every single movie. Yeah, <laughs> I wonder if he does that on purpose. A lot of people want us to do his car, <laughs> the Civic. Yeah. We never got a good look at his car, though, in these movies, I think. Yeah, but do you really need to get a good look at them? Because a lot of people are just like, 
yo, that's a Fast and Furious car. I want it. <laughs> it's like it's been in the movie for a second, uh, three frames yeah. maybe. And they're like, oh, I remember that car. That was that that scene. Hey, we got to make a Hector car and figure. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Everyone on social media, <laughs> tell us if you want a Hector car and figure. <laughs> I'm mean, like it should like have like some type of voice on technology yeah, as yeah. where it says hey fool hey fool <laughs> <laughs> it must be very hard to find spots like that to just be able um, to meet up you know and, and it, like you know and not have the cops just swoop in at any moment dude though. that's how it was back when I was growing yeah, up yeah I was just saying nowadays or back then Nowadays, I'm yeah. sure, but back then I could see how it was probably a lot easier. Oh man, like before, we would be able to like just the street right here outside of Jada. You know, it's it's an industrial area. People still do out yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's easy. There it is. That's the car right there. Yeah, that was the that was the MR2 though with the wide body one. Mm-hmm. I think that's her name was Jinky. That was the girl. Oh, so that was her car. Yeah. Oh, okay. I love me a I love me a car girl. Am I the only one? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Whatever. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Found another way home. Pizza boy. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, uh, here it is. That first. This is the first scene. That 10 the second race that lasts about 60 seconds. Mm-hmm. I'm with it. Pulling up to that race line. <laughs> when we went racing there wasn't nearly this many people though. yeah i don't care what anyone says i still like like the neon light look you do <laughs> i do i just feel like it adds i don't know some type of well, some I mean, type it's, of extra flair to it you know there you that's that's rj right there in the middle rj then we got well mr fire festival jaw rule <laughs> fire festival, <laughs> <laughs> this guy turns on his music before you I don't think that's a good idea. Oh, hey. Mm. <laughs> so, uh, so we are at the uh, part where Ja Rule is... Uh, about to race. Yeah, about to race. <laughs> where, where Ja Rule is entering into an, into an express well, contract with a very attractive lady for if he wins, she'll take him to Denny's. <laughs> <laughs> This movie had me believing that everyone who owns a modified car has has Nuts. has nitrous oxide in their car, and a crazy computer that shows like a bar graph. Or <laughs> I don't even know what that is. Yeah, neither do I. So that's not a thing, right? That's just some movie stuff. I've never seen it. Yeah, yeah. Everyone like oh, incognito. Yeah, how are you going to read a, a a crazy 3D bar graph going 150 yeah. miles an hour? Yeah. So how much is a can of Nas, you think? I don't remember. Really so see, he's this is RJ playing. <laughs> playing, <laughs> playing, RJ. playing Gran Turismo. Yeah. Horrible games. That's the only reason why, why I want to get an Xbox is to play Forza. Forza? That's the only reason I want an Xbox. Yeah, this is so iconic, dude. This Look at that. Flamethrowers. To roast marshmallows. Up, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the first race. Go. Wasn't there a funny video about how many times they shift? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we should do a count. These races. <laughs> is the Eclipse, is it all-wheel drive or front-wheel drive? I think there is a all-wheel drive trim. Yeah? Yeah. Dom in the lead. <laughs> Is there even um, enough um, time to like be able to say like, man, that guy's fast? Yeah, I would think so. Yeah. It's so funny watching this now because like the effects are so different. They're not as clean. <laughs> you can tell the green screens going but you on. Can, there's like a sense of appreciation. Oh, I yeah. Feel. And it feels raw. Too, yeah, you totally. Know? I mean, I wonder if that's really what it feels like. What's a hit Nas? Yeah. Hmm. 
I've never experienced it, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't get to go to Denny's. <laughs> How I'm, long is this race supposed to be? Uh, so, not a quarter mile. Yeah. Mile. Not a quarter mile. <laughs> Dang, dude. Danger to manifold. You're just going to tell tell your car to shut up and Okay, so I'm thinking that at that point his car would like explode. Well, it is falling apart like screws yeah. at that speed start to unscrew themselves. And that steel plate, I like how it just flies off and nobody gets killed by that thing. <laughs> Cause you already know. It's cool though, man. Looking like Star Tours. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what it does capture that same feeling. If you've ever been in street races, it does have that feel. I mean, I, I, back in the day when we used to go racing, this is, I mean, it didn't look that fast. It felt that fast. That looks more like that fast. <laughs> <laughs> that was a scene where, where Brian finally conks out. Yeah. Hmm. Oh man! Oh man, my engine almost. Where blew did everyone up. go? So Dom is the winner. Hmm. Then everybody yeah. just crowds around. <laughs> so was there ever a real time the time when people race for pink slips? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, that seems sure. seems like a big jump. It is. It is. Especially if you had beef, when guys had beef with someone, mm-hmm. they were like, and they were serious, they would, they would talk about doing that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. See, I don't think I have the gambling gene in me because because if you want to bet me five bucks, I, you know, um, I'm already starting well to get yeah, nervous about yeah. it. Like, I don't know, man. Exactly. <laughs> five bucks is a lot of money. <laughs> yeah. Man. Hmm. So wait, the, the uh, man, I I totally I haven't seen this in so long. <laughs> you pop the hood and all that smoke comes out of the engine. <laughs> Dude, almost had him. I've used this line so many times. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter if you. <laughs> Such an iconic scene. Yeah, yeah. Right? but there's a lot of memes after this. This too, you know. You had me. So we're at the scene where Dom is uh is trashing Brian about winning between a quarter mile or a mile or whatever. An inch or a mile. <laughs> Granny shit. Here it is. Hood. Oh yeah. That's that's you got true. served. <laughs> served, 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 served. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Everyone. this is familiar too. Yeah, <laughs> like they go into the races, where, and then they call cops, and everyone scrambles, just scattering like yeah. cockroaches. Jesus, dude, that happened. Silmar, Silmar is where we would go all the time. Yeah, Silmar and Gardena. So, is it true that if they catch you racing, that that they crush your car in front of you? I didn't know anyone who's gone had their car crushed. Yeah. Um, I've known a lot of them got impounded, mm-hmm. but they were able to get it back. Yeah. But I've never, because most of the time they don't get, we don't get caught um, actually racing. Yeah. You're usually there. Just, it's more what, what's the, what's the term when Speeding? you're eating? No, just how everyone's hanging out and in, 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 in a you're loitering. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Because everyone is there waiting for the races, watching the races. And by the time the cops come and the race has happened. You can't prove that yeah. the race has actually happened. Yeah. I see. Hmm. Is racing a felony, you think? I don't know. Hmm. Not hopefully, sure. Hopefully not. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of foreshadowing there. <laughs> this is something that's that's always baffled me about this movie. Because if we're thinking about this in real life terms, Dom is driving up into this parking space, leaving his car there, and then we never see this car again. Is that <laughs> then, really? Yeah. 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 We never yeah. see this car again. And so 20 years. What know, if it's just there the entire time? That's that's yeah. that's just crazy to me. I know where that shoot's at. Let's go look. <laughs> <laughs> Down. <laughs> Got the red leather jacket on. Uh, Toretto. See, if cops, then, see, yeah, so like if cops are able um, to name you, Whoop, 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 whoop. Well, then you should probably run. 
<laughs> you. So Brian just comes swooping out of nowhere to rescue Ben. Didn't like that little bottom panel come undone yeah. when he was racing? Yeah. Hey, dude, there's no room for continuity here, man. <laughs> it's 2002. <laughs> we don't need any continuity. It <laughs> 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 happens. <laughs> Except it. Oh, Drift. 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 Before it was cool. Oh, there you go, dude. We were talking about it this hey. morning. They eclipsed drifts. Hey, yo, that was an Easter egg. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, yo, he drifted in a, well, he drifted I mean, an all-wheel drive car. Ooh, that's Sparks a great jumps. That's a great way to compress your spine and break your elbow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> huh? I got bills to pay, homie. <laughs> so we are 26 minutes and five seconds into the movie. If you guys want to resync up, <laughs> oh Dominica. Yeah, Dom is questioning why would Brian put his life and freedom on the line for him, and Brian is just resisting Dude, the, just, well, the urge. I'm to say, cause I want your sister. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's crazy is that like, we just watched what the, the first thirty minutes of this movie. Yeah, and there's still cars in here that we haven't touched yet that, that I've <laughs> yeah. noticed already. Like, like that have pretty good scenes like mm -hmm. you can see it yeah pretty well, i mean the li fast library is like it seems like it's never yeah. ending oh, hey how sure. about we do motorcycles yeah yeah i mean those because look you're, yeah you're not the first one to ask that i mean we've heard it five pack That's crazy okay what kind of beef does does someone have to have <laughs> where where triads with hoozies <laughs> are just well rolling up on you <laughs> t and k food Oh, man, some Chinese food sounds so good right now. <laughs> but some good Chinese food. Some good you know. Chinese food. You know, you know, I'm not talking about not that, no. that, that C rating stuff. <laughs> Dude. Gotta yeah, get off now. We, ain't even, we ain't even going <laughs> to go there right now. Let's go. <laughs> I would kill for some orange chicken right now. <laughs> that ain't Chinese, I dude. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. If orange chicken isn't Chinese, then what is it? It's American. It's American, yeah. Then why is it always at Chinese restaurants? It's like American yeah. Chinese restaurants. Express. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Panda. I know, I'm uncultured. P.F. Chang's. I've never had, had P.F. Chang's, but I hear don't eat there. Don't. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, I I'm some bad not thing. not my favorite place to go. Mm. <laughs> yeah, <orange. laughs> I want some good Chinese food. Orange, orange chicken. chicken, yo, man, orange chicken. <laughs> Look, if I ever have have to go up to Hong Kong and there's no orange chicken, I'm gonna be very disappointed. All right, they do have a Kentucky Fried Chicken over there. That I heard it's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> That's supposed to be Mike. <laughs> I was gonna say McDonald's, but you know, oh yeah. McDonald's is pretty good too. Yeah. The funny thing though is that black people actually do not like KFC. Really? <laughs> black people are Popeyes people. Oh yeah, Popeyes is the best. Popeyes, Popeyes yeah. is good. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's good stuff. There's actually a Popeyes, I think, in West Covina now. There used to there be used one to right be. up the street. I thought that really? Yeah, on Gale. Oh man. Uh, like two minutes away from here. But bring, they bring it back. Yeah, right. Now it's a Vietnamese pho place oh man i mean pho is cool and all but it ain't about to beat no to beat no popeyes man sorry yeah, but wait until you've tried hong kong pop uh kfc is it might be different yeah yeah probably use that purple chicken oh <laughs> so johnny tran and his homie with their girlfriends on the very back of the bikes too dude they just lay it down on this eclipse just spraying about a hundred mag I'm a hundred rounds, but their girlfriends are probably deaf right now. Like, like oh my ear hut. Damn. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Whoa, dude! That green fire is exploded. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> oh my god, that's funny, dude. That's <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> Damn, they got to walk on. 
<laughs> all right, so <laughs> so so they're in Chinatown, and they have to go all the way back back to Echo Park. How many miles is that? It's not that far, actually. No, but it is it is still. Oh, well, they took the they took, took a cab. Taxi. Oh, we should do a taxi for fast. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, make the taxi. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Dom and Brian in front taxi. of the house. They're, in they're front of the house, dude. And they're articulated so that you can sit them down in the taxi. <laughs> uh, oh, that would be great. <laughs> you better invite him in for a drink. You saved your life. Then Mia, she's like, oh, my God, I have to, I need makeup. to get hotter than I already am. <laughs> really? She's supposed to be 17 in this movie? Man. This oh. guy. Well, that is a weird thing, though, because me, I was in high school not too long ago. And when I think back, back to like how we looked back then, we looked like old people when I was in high school, you know, we're 17, but we all looked like we were 20 something. So weird. What, which movie was gal in? She, uh, her first one was in fast four. four. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, I still haven't seen fast four. I've seen everything except for fast four. I got to watch four. that. Fast four is which one is fast that and one? furious fast and furious. Yeah. yeah. She's still, I think the hottest girl in the, in the franchise. She's so beautiful. It's not even yeah. fair. Wonder woman. Yeah. Yep. In 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 every facet of that word, hmm. yeah. Who just yeah? Who just has public d- displays of affection like that in front of everybody? <laughs> Dude, these are Fast and Furious movies. They were they were doing that everywhere. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I would not feel comfortable with all these people in my house. There is. I like it when Ben yeah, buddy. Yeah, like that. <laughs> Tell it to him. Yeah, you got served. Damn. <laughs> I would just leave the party at that point. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I like this. <laughs> Looks him dead in the eyes. Wipes off that dirty mouth. Just in case. That would add a little bit of tongue in that. <laughs> Is Vince on like steroids or something? I mean, he has some roid rage problems. What's wrong with him? He's a broke ass Thor. <laughs> a, w- a what? <laughs> Did you say a broke ass Thor? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? On that part, though, he was right. Yeah. He true. was right. Yeah, he was, I mean, he was telling the truth. Yeah. It's like you, he could have taken you somewhere. Yeah. He could have kidnapped you at that point. And I would never be able to look in your eyes again. Pretty sure Dom can hold his own. Yeah, I'm sure of that. (laughs) Yeah. And this was like, was like a year before he was triple X too, huh? Was it? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Then were the What about that other movie that he was in? Um, Um, Where he was, what was it? Where he's like, he's like a hitman or something, right? It's a dark movie, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, wait. No, Wait, are you talking about the Chronicles of Riddick? Yeah, Riddick. Oh, yeah, yeah. Riddick. When oh, was yeah. that one? Uh, so the first, and so Pitch Black was like 1999, I believe. And then Chronicles of Riddick was probably like 2006, seven. Oh. Dope ass movie. Damn, 2000. Guys. Whenever I hear Pitch Black, I always think Pitch Perfect for some reason. <laughs> It's like, he was in a musical? <laughs> uh, well, there was no... Oh, rock, the Rock was in Tooth Fairy. So. Oh, yeah, dude. And Saw that in the theaters. And there was no singing going down in Pitch Black. <laughs> hey, we gotta watch Tooth Daryl brought it up. I don't know why you watch it in the theaters. It was funny, though. It was pretty good. Yeah? Yeah. Mm. Highly recommend it. <laughs> so Mia is underage, and she's drinking a Snapple at the party. Very responsible of her. Yeah. Wait, so if she's underage, how old is Brian supposed to be? He's a cop. <laughs> so that makes it okay? Yeah. And yeah, he's beyond, he's above the law. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, I don't know, man. Anyway, that's so, well. As hey, long as nothing happens, right? That's the mentality of some of these cops these days. Well, yeah. you know, of a lot of people these days. 
It's pulled over by this. Hey, somebody wants us to make that now too. Yeah, like yeah. That, that it's Ford a, it's the Victoria. Same, yeah, same casting. Oh no, it's a Ford. Yeah. Is that a Victoria? It's a uh, well, well, maybe not a Victoria. I don't think it's a. Oh, I almost had that happen to me a couple. Of times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just had a helicopter and like four more cars. Like, sir, Dude. do you know who I am? <laughs> that was. That was scary, dude. Yeah, I was yeah. in Hong Kong when that happened. Yeah, especially when it's unexpected. Yeah, thank God. I'm watching black. the helicopters following me the whole time, I'm wondering what's up. going on. Yeah, he's like, man, where is this? Where, where is what's happening around here? Yeah, like <laughs> I was. What's happening? <laughs> what's going on? It was me. <laughs> hey, Mike, you're gonna be famous. <laughs> mm, so they're taking him to this nice little penthouse. Is this a penthouse or is that their office? I don't know, but that's a nice office. We ain't got no lake here. Lake. It's like a little pond, dude. It's like a little pond, man. whatever. Whatever. <laughs> I remember them somewhere saying he sees the house. Oh, okay. Mm. It looks like a house. Yeah. So then that would be like, what, a pool? This guy's all, what are you guys doing here? I told you guys to leave. Okay, how much was housing <laughs> back then, Mike? Back then? Yeah. I don't know. I wasn't in the market. No? Wow. Mm. I'm not that old. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm like, sorry. I was barely like what I think. Like I don't know how old was I during this time. Forget. Hmm. Is he drinking an Irish coffee, my uh, man? <laughs> there we go. Maybe it's a latte. <laughs> well, it could turn into an Irish coffee real fast. Oh my gosh! So was yes, Brian I in the FBI? From the get go, and then they approach him for this case, or what? I forget. He's LAPD, He's LAPD and then this is the FBI. I don't think he joins the FBI until last, until part four. four. Until part four? He, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, he's on the run in part two. It, okay. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> so, so, as an LAPD officer, he was going undercover. And so they don't know that he's a cop right now. They okay. It's been a little while. They, yeah. They, they arrested him to, to not raise suspicion if anyone's watching him. Mm. So that's why they pulled him here. Now they're talking with him. Oh, okay. classic. Gotcha. Brian and his golden locks. <laughs> <laughs> what looking like Pericles over here? <laughs> That's a nice house. If that's a house, dude. Real nice house. I want a bridge. Those houses that I want they a moat. Shoot. Yeah, it looks like those houses that they. Uh, what you would know. you put in your moat? Mm-hmm. God, alligators, of course, dude. <laughs> you can have, have a moat without alligators. We're thirty-eight crazy, minutes into the movie, exactly. <laughs> and we and piranhas. Gonna, and I'm about to Google uh, where to buy alligators. Electric eels. Is it legal to have an al- to have There's an alligator DT logo thing? again? Yeah. There it is. Dude. Damn, so they literally We could have had that. <laughs> Are we going to make that casting? <laughs> We're going to make that. The, the beat up Supra. On the tow truck. On a flatbed. Dude. Hmm. I bet you that people would buy it. What if we were to build that car? Let us know your thoughts <laughs> in the comments below. Yeah. <laughs> so is that his garage? Is that DT? Pop the hood. Yo. Two Jay-Z. Legend. They already made um, a two Jay-Z swap for the new Supra. Really? Yeah. Someone's uh, making the, the the swap kit for it already. Oh, wow. I'm not surprised. Yeah. Yeah, there's like some engineer out there who's like, F this. I'm getting on this right now. Yeah. The purest. So that so so do you think that brings it a little bit more street cred? If it has the two Jay Z? Yeah. I I think so. I mean anything two Jay Z that you is is people are gonna be swooning over because that's a, a legendary motor. Yeah. It's just it, yeah, it's just that body and how it looks that I think will be the hardest part for people. No, there's the RX seven. Yeah. It's the, oh, uh, there whoa. it is. It, 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 it took it, 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 it did it take it from the garage. Yeah, okay. <laughs> 
So it's not just sitting there lonely for 20 years. Dude, that would be a cool crew. To, an Arc 7, R33. I don't know. Jetta, maybe not, but that's a cool yeah. group to roll with. <laughs> Isn't it funny of like how, 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 like, say, for example, if you wanted to get I'm an RX-7 now, how essentially it is a cheap car yeah. because because it's so old. But there's 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 this point as to where it's so old that, like, the amount of money that you'll have to put into, well, making it restored again, yeah. it'll be like buying a brand new car. That's right. It's crazy. Yeah, but once it's restored, people give you a lot of respect. We saw a... Your street uh, cred goes through yeah, the roof. Yeah, mm-hmm. a, a Civic... Um, <clears throat> Oh man, an older Civic. Uh, which one did you see it? Were you here when it, it came by? Mm-mm. It was just restored to JDM spec. It was super clean. Yeah, it was so nice. And you look at it and you're like, man, that thing is is beautiful. Mm. And it's just and it's not like extremely fixed up to be a race car. It was just fixed up nice and clean. Yeah. And it wasn't like it was just more stock than anything, and just looked really good. Yeah. He got invited to the family barbecue. Yeah. Still wearing that bracelet. And that weird transparent wife beater made out of like fishnet. Ooh. People want that car too. What's that? Uh, Vince's, uh, I think it's a Maxima. Maxima? (laughs) Yo, I had a Maxima. I did too. Horrible car. Well, my mom did, not me. Horrible car. Almost killed me. did Did the molding paint fade? Dude. My freaking engine blew up Ooh, once. Bad. Yeah. <laughs> Man, there's the iconic having a barbecue scene. They're going to make him say grace. What if he's an atheist? I'm just kidding. I'm not about to go there. <laughs> <laughs> barbecue. So is... Is um homeboy um in Vegeta? Is he like always high or something or what? Jesse? Yeah. No, I don't think so. Seems like he's always high. I saw him smoking just, weed in the last scene. Was it? ADD? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he does have some some kind of. Yeah. Oh, oh, well, there's a cure for that. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> Yo, man, that barbecue looks Thunder's really good. Thunder's back. Vince <laughs> <laughs> came back. He's like, I'm hungry. <laughs> yeah. he, and my fridge he, is he empty. Kiss the head. Kiss the head. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> <sighs> Shouldn't be drinking. I'm on an empty stomach, Vince. Yeah, downtown LA. People go there, still go to that house just to check it out. Yeah. Take photos, Take photos with their cars. Yeah, yeah, a lot of uh, people have uh, brought our die casts and took photos of. Really? Of the, yeah, especially I think the one I always remember is the the R35, the blue one. Hmm. Someone brought it over and even angled it in a way so it looked like it's in the driveway. It's cool. So, but nobody lives in that house, right? I think they, there is someone that lives there. Yeah? Yeah. It's it's really close to where my my when my mom first moved here from the Philippines, she, uh, she lived in Echo Park, right, right around the corner from that house. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I just had an idea that that we could talk about in a few minutes because because we're gonna have to cut this off at forty five minutes because because uh, we actually have jobs. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, so we'll talk about it off air. Yeah, but yeah, so like. Still today, like people still, I have a friend who just recently went there maybe like a couple months ago. Mm. And said, oh, back at the legendary house. Actually, I, th- I don't know, a couple months ago, it was a, maybe a year ago. But I think they, I don't know if they tore it down or something because Damn. too many people were coming by. Mm. Or something, I don't know. Well, they did blow it up in fast <laughs> yeah. eight or whatever. Is yeah. there a more iconic house in Hollywood? Yeah, well, like uh, the Brady Bunch house. Is uh, is a pretty iconic. The there's the the Wayne Manor over in Pasadena. Hmm. Like hmm. you can see it off of the two ten freeway. It's like on the cliff. It's pretty dope. 
Why is Vince always just hovering around like a creeper? Because he's a creeper. Always watching uh, with, with Jason Scott Lee in that Bruce Lee movie. The Racer's Edge. Squatted up. Yeah. There's the... There clear, we go. There's a look at the Civic, dude. Yep. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I just haven't seen this in a while. Yeah. That Civic's crazy. I mean, isn't it funny how they're breaking a stereotype because they're not in Lowriders? <laughs> no, you, but remember when uh, when when Big Mike was here, he was saying those are the guys that were driving all the Hondas. Yeah, his crew, his his group of guys that he was hanging with. It's yeah. interesting. Yeah, see, I never understood the whole. I mean, the whole stereotype of seeing the gangsters in movies always in Lowriders, especially if they were like young, young mm-hmm. gangsters, because Lowriders ain't cheap. No, they're they're not cheap and they're very hard to find, you know. Yeah, and a lot goes into them too. Just uh, yeah, probably a lot more uh, investment to make a low rider look right. Mm-hmm. It yeah, it's it's not cheap to make them <clears throat> to fix those things up. El gato negro, eh? <laughs> so we're at forty six minutes into the movie. So we're going to have to cut it off here, guys, because uh, we got stuff to do. But uh, we're, we're cutting it off at 46 minutes and 21 seconds into the movie. Uh, we hope that you enjoyed this episode. We plan to do a few of these, you know, some more often. Maybe uh, next time we'll finish the movie off at this point. But, uh, yeah, has anybody got anything that they want to bring up? Uh, yeah, sign off? maybe. Well, next week. Oh, no, we'll, we'll be here next week. Yeah. Next week we'll hear. Hopefully we'll next week we'll be able to share some more, like sneak peeks with you guys. Um, there's a lot of like like we said last time last week. Uh, there's a lot of cool stuff coming down the pipeline. It's just when we get the okay to be able to show it. Yeah, yeah. definitely. So, but the viewers of the podcast and the listeners will, well, you got to view it on YouTube. <laughs> but <clears throat> yeah, you guys will be the first ones to see it. Definitely can't wait um, to show you guys and be sure to stay tuned. All right, guys. Well, if you enjoyed this podcast, be sure to like and subscribe. Um, and we and we will see you next week. I'm Jordan. I'm Daryl. Mike. Peace out. I won't be slamming my laptop. <laughs>